every opportunity for empowerment of his fellow men. His goal is to help alleviate pain, suffering, diseases. His one goal with doing all of that and helping us to become better human beings, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I am pleased to introduce to you your health ambassador for health and longevity, Minister Brother Noel Emmanuel Jack. Brother Noel, welcome. Brother Noel. Yes, are you all hearing me? Yes, we're hearing you, Brother Noel. Thank you for joining us this, this evening. Thank you, Miss Samuel Singh. Indeed, it is a great pleasure to be here with you again this evening, live and alive. Happy and excited to be part of this great project, this One Life Business Opportunity Project. You know, we are so privileged, we are so blessed of God to actually have the opportunity to get involved in this One Life Network. Indeed, we are a community all across the world creating, fomenting, a financial revolution. And I want you to put on your thinking cap, to put on your entrepreneurship cap and join me on this call. So wherever you are, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, Brother Noel, Ruby Consultant for the One Life Network is here this evening. I welcome you to the world of cryptocurrency. So this evening, we're gonna understand a little more about what is cryptocurrency and where the financial world is progressing to. There are certain changes taking place in the world and we need to understand what is cryptocurrency and we need to understand and to position ourselves to get involved with cryptocurrency because it is going to change our lives. And education is the key to understanding the new world of cryptocurrency. Science and technology are advancing at a rapid rate all over the world. Artificial intelligence is running things. You know, you may go to a corporation, you may go to a website, you may look at a video, you may have several apps. These micro tools and, and micro apps on your smart device, what is running all of these things? Artificial intelligence, virtual reality, blockchain protocol technology, augmented reality, robotics, nanotechnology, micro apps, and what is some people consider considers God bots. Yes. You know, the technology is advancing at such a rapid rate or pace that people are saying technology is becoming like God. Not true. There are just tools, technological tools that you can use to make your life easier, to make your life more convenient, to make your life safe. Of course, albeit that technology can be used for other ulterior motives and for evil and wicked things. So the er era in which we live now is what is called the Internet of Things. And the latest technology that they're rolling out is what is called 5G technology. So we have from 1G right up to now 5G, even in Trinidad and Tobago, many parts of Europe, Many parts of the United States, they are already ruling out 5G. And they, it is controversial because some people are saying this will affect your brain, this will affect your blood, your cells, your immune system. And some are saying in the conspiracy theory, and I use it quote unquote, that it is helping to sub sub subvert the health of people and be let them become more susceptible to the new COVID, I call it SARS-2 coronavirus. So the Internet of Things is what is ruling with the 5G and all these other technologies. You may be surprised to know to what extent it is ruling and controlling 
or planet Earth. Yes, indeed. And you have to become aware of it. You have to position yourself and understand it and use it to your advantage. Henry Kissinger, past Secretary of State under the time of Richard Nixon, President of the United States, he says in this book, or his writing, How the Enlightenment Ends in 2018, not too long ago, the age of reason originated the thoughts and actions that shaped the contemporary world order. But that order is now in upheaval amidst a new, more sweeping technological revolution, whose consequences we have failed to fully reckon with and whose culmination may be a world relying on machines powered by data and algorithms and ungoverned by ethical or philosophical norms. What Mr. Henry Kissinger is saying here, and you need to do some research on Henry Kissinger. I cannot say the things about Henry Kissinger on this Zoom call right now. It is so terrible. They, had, they have long pushed out God since the age of reason since the age of the Enlightenment. And now he's saying, reason is not even governing our technological age or new or order that we are, are having now, or contemporary order. He's saying technology and revolution is taking it over. The data and the algorithms, they have huge, massive data farms. These things are now running every single thing as we speak. And so, ethical concerns, philosophical concerns will be thrown out the door. In fact, in another paper, he showed that power, absolute power, is what is going to rule the world. Absolute power, not even science. So they're going to utilize all of these things in such a way that they will rule the world with this technology. Look how far we have reached. They can now upload information to your brain, as we have seen in the movie, The Matrix. They connect these electrodes to your brain, your scalp, and these microelectrical signals send information directly to your brain. Imagine that. Look how far we have reached. And here am I with a renowned professor at the University of West Indies, where this guy conducted an experiment, one of the largest experiment that took place on planet Earth, where they connected artificial intelligence, um, information technology, robotics, computer science, neurology, and so on. He's a, a neuroscientist. And they were able to achieve an unimaginable feat. Someone who had lost their legs, amputees, they were able by the, that person's will and through interfaces computerized interfaces, the guy could have think, move his leg to kick a football to start off the World Cup. Imagine that, people. Do you know right now what Bill Gates and some other tycoons, multi, multi billionaires, what they're planning right now? They're planning to lock down the entire world with surveillance. Real time. Real time. And we know the 5G system, the internet system, the Internet of Things, and also the satellites and, and cloud technology and so on, they are all facilitating this. So you have nowhere to hide. Your information is at their fingertips. It's a balance, people. We have to find that balance between having our privacy and the way things are going in the world. So you got a glimpse of some of the technologies that are revolutionizing the world. But what about our finance? What about our money? This evening's presentation is all about this financial revolution that is taking over our world. It's all about cryptocurrency, the new money, the new method of payments, and how you can position yourself. So you out there that are listening, that are watching on live and on Zoom, or if you're on Facebook or on YouTube, wherever you are, whoever invited you, get back to that person. And talk to them, have a discussion with them, an intelligent, rational discussion to understand what is taking place in our world. And so I, you know, I am putting it to you this evening. You need to really understand. 
you need to empower your minds. You need to be educated. A lot of us out there, we have given up on our dreams. We don't have that great why, why we exist. Our purpose is waning. We are stressed out, frustrated. And the dreams that we have had in the past, we have given it up. I want you to consider again tonight. I want you to truly consider. Truly consider. Dream again. I wish I didn't take life so seriously. I wish I didn't take life so seriously. I wish I didn't take life so seriously. I wish I lived more. I wish I gave happiness to my family. I wish I was how fleeting, how special, and at the same time fragile and insignificant. I wish I didn't give up on my dreams so easy. One day, life will flash before your eyes. Make sure it's worth watching. When we look back on our life, in our last breaths, we will all wonder, did my life mean anything? Did my life mean anything to this world? Was I loved? Did I have an impact on anyone else's life? Did I matter? We won't be worried about our bills. We won't be worried about our hair. We certainly won't care about our favorite TV show. We won't spare a second thought of others' opinions and judgments. Did I matter? Before you reach that last breath, today might be the time to make a change. Make your life matter. One day, it will be over. There will be two dates, either side of a dash. Make sure that dash is not empty. Make sure it is full of life, full of living. Oscar Wilde once said, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. And he was right. Don't live like everyone else existing. Be extraordinary. Live every moment with passion and wonder. Don't take anything or anyone for granted. What is important to you? What dreams do you have? Go get them. What are you waiting for? You only have one shot. If you miss the target, at least you will live with pride, knowing you have no regrets. Who do you love? Who has loved you? Tell them. Tell them now. You never know when it will be your last chance. Don't take this magical thing called life for granted. Keep your head when everyone else is losing theirs. Trust yourself when everyone else doubts you. Master your dreams when all others give up on theirs. Be the captain when everyone else is content being the crew. Be the lion when all others are playing sheep. Be the leader when all others are following. Live each day as if it may be your last on earth. It may be. Leave your legacy. My, 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 my. When you're hearing me, when you're listening to me, I wish that I could have transported my own mind, my own thoughts and get into your thoughts and get into your mind and get into your brain cells and download that video. Download those thoughts to your mind. Don't live your life ordinary. We are told don't live your life ordinary. Live your life extraordinary. Live your life with passion. Pursue your dreams. Pursue your goals. How many of you out there are depressed? How many of you out there are frustrated? 
how many of you are confused and perplexed with all that is going on in our world today with the coronavirus and the death rate escalating and they're talking of a phase two and a phase three or a third wave and much more infections spreading all across the world and much, much more death. You're frustrated, you're tired. Some of us are poor in that we don't have much material thing, but you're rich in faith because you have a philosophy in your mind, a purpose for life. Tonight, I'm humbly presenting to you this one life project, this one life dream, one life. On this earth, you have one life. There's a life hereafter, but that is determined by how you live now and you must impact others. That's why we are doing these calls. It may be one person that we may touch. It only took one person to change situations in the world. One Nelson Mandela. One Nelson Mandela. One Mother Teresa. One Mahatma Gandhi. And all the great, you know, um, what do you call, um, people who has who have motiv motivated a lot of people in the world, created changes in the world. That one person is you. And tonight, this evening, if I could just reach your mind with this one life project, this one coin project, then I have complete accomplished my job. So there's nothing like this one coin that I'm now going to introduce to you. It's the beginning of something super, super, super great. And the One Life community, the community of miners, those are the holders of the one coin cryptocurrency, the new money, we are scattered all over the world. Yes, we have over 1.3 million members in China alone. We have over 3.6 million members across the world in six continents, 194 countries of the world operating on multiple platforms. What is our mission? One Life mission is to enable a global community of web users to take active part in using and improving new cutting edge digital products and services. We are living in the age of information, the age of the internet, where we have accessibility of information. And so this is a network, this is a project that involves that digital age the internet and the internet of things. We want to create that global community so that everyone, or at least the majority of people upon the earth will be using our one coin cryptocurrency. Our aim is to increase the quality, the, the, our aim is to increase the quality of the life of our members. When last you got an increase in the quality of your life. Look at right here. Aim to increase the quality of your of the members. When last you had an increase in the quality of your life. So many of us have a substandard life. So many of us are, are not living our dreams. We are not passionate about life anymore. Well, it is not too late. We hope to provide alternative and equal access to practical and relevant financial education to the people worldwide. We want to ignite a natural education movement. That's what we want to do. A revolution as it were. Changing the minds of people, impacting their lives to such an extent that they will position themselves and understand what is happening in the world of finance. And in the world of finance, things are changing. And we are the cutting edge because we want to spark and ignite a global financial revolution. And from the days of bartering, where we use money as a unit of exchange, we use money as something that we agree on to trade businesses, you know, our products or services. As entrepreneurs, we use it to exchange and it moved to the point of things like shekels and leather and wood, gold and silver coins and eventually the paper dollar, the fiat currency, and we move on to plastics and to secure forms of payment on the internet. 
you know all of them. But the one problem we have is that all these systems of payment, these methods of payments, were attached or connected to your paper dollar. And we all know this story too well. On the 15th of August, 1971, President Nixon removed the gold standard from backing the paper dollar. And that dollar has significantly lose value, lost value over those years. So, because of the printing, press running nonstop, we have created a, what is called currency that is backed by nothing virtually. And we have inflation and hyperinflation eating away the purchasing power of your dollar. This is the stark reality we live in, in an age now with COVID. We have so much problems, so much massive unemployment, underemployment, contract labor, temporary labor. There are millions and millions of people starving in our world today. There are millions of people possibly could die with the coronavirus. Millions also affected because of unemployment. Even the social grants and, and stuff that they're, they're trying to help people with, good may not be satisfactory. So the, the error that is, that is upon us right now is the time of cryptocurrency. It is the world of cryptocurrency. And this is what we want to introduce to you. Cryptocurrency started way back, way, way back in 2009, after the economic meltdown in 2008 with Bitcoin. But even before that, way back in the year 1988, the Economist magazine predicted, as you can see, a new currency, cryptocurrency called Bitcoin 2018, where they were saying it will be the end of paper money. We know that things happened in a significant way at that time. But you can go further back to 1966 under the same Henry Kissinger, where they said they will digitalize the world. And if you do the research, you will see a number of points how they said they will accomplish it and how they will digitalize the world, including our money. So we see more significant changes happening around 2018. And where we are right now, my dear people, there are over 5,000 plus different cryptocurrencies. 5,000 plus different cryptocurrencies. So why do we need cryptocurrencies? Well, several reasons. We, have, we are having problems with the banks. Hefty fees. Everything is a fee. They're not giving you a break. Even in, at this time in the coronavirus, they're talking of wavering. They're not talking of forgiving you of your debt. You know? They're talking of wavering, deferring what you have to pay them. We have a population of over 2.5 billion persons on planet Earth that don't have access to financial instruments, to financial services, for many different reasons. So, there's a problem with the banks. The system has advanced to such an extent that we don't really need banks. We need banking, but not necessarily those massive skyscrapers they call banks. We don't need it anymore. The technology is way too advanced for such a thing, for going through all this inconvenience and, and you know, the risk of theft of your money, people getting your credit card information, and all the other injustices that we suffer many a times at the banks. That's one of the reasons. The other reason is the remittance industry, sending money to, their, to your loved ones. And of course, they also charge fees from 5%, 6%, going up to 33 and a third percent. Billions are raking annually. High taxes. We can do it all that, people. The world is too advanced. At the touch of a button on your smart device, you can send a video. You can send a text message, a voice note. You can do three-way calling. So why money have to be so slow? Why you have to go through all these obstacles and red tape and bureaucracy to do a financial transaction? And here we have another reason 
global trade, buying and selling goods, the ease of settlement across borders, the ease of settlement, sorry, cross-border purchases, the cost of fraud, restrictions on where and what you can buy. When you're using cryptocurrency, in particular one coin, transactions, rapid pace, very, very efficient, very secure. The ease of doing business is facilitated in a rapid way. So here we have another reason. Protecting income and wealth. Yes, you cannot put all your golden eggs in one golden basket. You have to diversify. Everyone is talking about diversification. And what better thing to diversify in an in a and an asset that you know is appreciating in value. It is only it only makes sense. So after the financial crisis in 2008, right? Countries started printing money. Central banks, the Federal Reserve, all over the world. And what happens there now? You have that currency depreciating and losing value. So today, you have a hundred dollars, euro, TT, US, British pounds, whatever. You can purchase a certain amount of goods and services. But one year later, one year later, it is impossible to do that. Sometimes there are certain chaotic things that happen in the financial market. For instance, like a devaluation. We have seen this in India and many parts of the world, Suriname, and you lose value. Your retirement money that you, you put aside or whatever investment you were involved in suddenly lose huge chunks of value. It just doesn't make sense. So we know with the fiat currency, it is guaranteed in this present system that your money, currency that is, will lose value over time. But with the one coin cryptocurrency within our ecosystem, we know that you will not lose that value. The value will be maintained because there's a mass amount of people using the coin. They are clamoring for it. They need it. They want it because it has added so much value to them. The purchasing power is so stable that you could afford to use this coin to do transactions. But before you understand about this cryptocurrency thing, this cryptocurrency concept, idea you need education it is at the, it is at the heart of our company you need it the mass population they don't know about cryptocurrency including members of certain financial uh, sectors they don't know about it so we need to educate people about it and we have several levels several disciplines finance forex law you know thousands of minutes in lectures and video in different languages, where you learn all about what is money. What is money? The difference between money and currency. How money moves around in the system. You learn about different asset classes, commodities, stock. You learn about financial market risk management, technical analysis, forex trading, and so on. So this is an online university, and what you have really been introduced to is these levels of education in the various disciplines. You choose what discipline you're interested in, you purchase your educational package, and you follow the process. Those who have led you to this presentation, those who have invited you to this call, they will help you to understand it in a better way. You will not get everything right now, but they will truly help you to get that understanding. So, cryptocurrencies, we are now going to define it without the need of a third party, such as a bank, a credit card company, or an escrow agent. So, what this cryptocurrency virtual money does, what it does, in effect, is that it removes the middleman, the banks. It removes those middlemen that are taking all those hefty fees from you. 
it took them. Cryptocurrency has the potential to impact various aspects of the financial market and the wider economy. They, are, they can dramatically, notice that word, dramatically reduce transaction costs. And it gives access to financial transaction and avoid a pitfall in certain monetary systems. There are many pitfalls. We all know them. The exploitation, the robbery, the fraudulent activity that goes on, money missing. Banks are being fined millions and dollars, millions and millions of dollars every year for all kind of corruption. So our cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency in a whole operates as, as um, gold because there's a limited amount that is created by the technology that creates it. And therefore the scenario of demand and supply increases the value of the cryptocurrency, in this case, our one coin. So if we have a large community of miners, people who are involved in the project, we have people calling for it, people wanting it, people demanding it because they see it as a viable option, as a more secure form of payment, then there's a demand for our coin and the value goes up. Simple. And what is the underlying technology that creates this cryptocurrency one coin it's called blockchain it's a digital technology that records and verifies transactions simple that's it it's like a bank book in an electronic form it's like a huge massive database that will chronicle all the transactions in a way that everyone can see that it's transparent and that it's clean so it changes the way many industries operate including the financial markets it creates cost efficient business networks the blockchain but the blockchain ledger can track and trace anything of value it is based on protocols that authenticate validate and store information in consistent unbroken sequences that make the system safer by illuminating any attempts of fraud duplicity and forgery that's what we need and people we can see in the introduction to finance level one or one academy, first level, quoting, it says to spur economic growth, the central banks all around the globe introduce extraordinary measures. Main interest rates were lowered to negative territory, while the printing press, press presses of the United States Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank seem to be running without a break. Yes, that is what caused what we have today. Deficit spending by governments. Governments are always in debt. Right now, even our government is borrowing money. They're using from our own saving. They have to, and, and they have to borrow. So this is a nation, like all other nations, that are constantly involved in deficit spending. In a, in a budget, in fiscal measures, where you have to constantly be borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. That is not a wise system. You become a slave. So many central banks have failed in this respect. The aforementioned example of the Federal Reserve of the United States is not a notorious one. Since after the establishment of this institution in 1913, the dollar has lost over 90% of its value as of today. And we know it is way lower than that. Way, way lower than that. Maybe about two cents or three cents. That is the value of the US dollar. And many nations, they are pegged to the US dollar. So what is happening to your dollar? What is happening to the Trinidad and Tobago dollar? Right? We see, I mean, this, this thing is, is really, really terrible. So we are here to help you. You purchase your educational package, any one you want. We have up to level seven. In the financial, general finance, we have five levels in the Forex. We have also five levels in the legal aspect. You will purchase your educational package at the One Academy e-learning platform. You get there and you do your education like any university. And then you will go through what is called, you receive also what is called tokens. And these tokens will go through a doubling, a split as it were. 
So you get more tokens. And then when, when you get all the splits that you are entitled to, because some packages you get more tokens, some packages you get more splits. So when you get all the splits that you are legitimately entitled to, you will submit those tokens to mine. And that's how you get your coins. So the first thing is to get that university education. Let's say you do it for one year. You get the theory in the education, you get the practice. Let's say you purchase this combined package of the starter package introduction to finance and the tycoon packages. You have access to over five levels of education. You pay about 65,000 TT dollars and it's a little less now. You get 48,000 tokens. These tokens go to three splits and you receive what is called um, your coin. You get 780.8 coins. 780.8 coins. And how did you get those coins? It took 500 tokens to create one one coin. So you will divide the 500 by, or the 390, 400 by 500, you end up with 780.8 coins. That's wonderful. And our coin is presently at a value of $42.43. $42.43 euros. So when you do the calculation, you multiply 780.8 by 42.43, you will see you end up with 39,040 euros. Yes, 39,040 euros. Sorry, $33,129.35 euros. And with the value of those coins that you have, in euros you can use those coins on the deal shaker and shop till you drop according to one of our top leaders in the one life network you can shop till you drop to buy anything of value for you anything you want you can shop on the deal shaker and purchase it using either a hundred percent one coins or part thereof part fiat cash and part one coin so you receive at the present value of 42 43 $33,129.35 euros. But if you project, if the coin goes to 50 euros from 40 to 43 to 50 euros, you can end up with over 312,320 TT dollars. And look what, what you started off with 65,000. My dear people, isn't this? value appreciation isn't this a business to get into when last have you seen such an increase in value i tell you everyone who is in this network everyone who has coins should be shouting for joy and shouting hallelujah yes my dear people this is a hedge for us in this dwindling shaky world of finance we have at least an asset cryptocurrency one coin that is stable so all you need to do is to lead by example take the courses learn the material earn your certificate and duplicate the system tell a friend tell a neighbor don't be selfish share the opportunity with others because you want others to prosper you want others to come out of poverty you want others to live a legacy you want others to, to live a life of passion so listen to this video, this very important video, summing up everything, people. Listen to it. Take it in well. Get started now, now, now. Get started with your One Academy package. Get started with your starter package. 
it's only 1600 TT dollars. Get your financial education from the One Academy. Although it's a beginner package, the information you're going to get from your One Academy starter package, you would have more knowledge than 90% of the world's population on finance for just 1600 TT. Let's create a revolution. Let's spread the epidemic of our One Academy, One Life. Get it today. Get started now. If it is a starter package that you have to purchase to get the introduction to finance, do it now. Don't delay. There's no other opportunity as good as OneCoin right now for earning cryptocurrencies, learning, getting that financial education, and earning. Because in the process, when you mine your tokens, you're able to get this precious asset. And our goal is to become the number one reserve cryptocurrency in the world. We want to do this by creating great usability. That means we have to get more people on the network. We want to expand and we want our market capitalization to increase. Yes, you look at all the other cryptocurrencies, people who enter this technology, they will tell you, people who really know what is going on, they will tell you, these are, let me use a, a kind of crude term, defecation coins. Defecation coins. They are Mickey Mouse coins, according to our founder, Dr. Ruja. They don't have usability. They don't have much value. But one coin, the most attacked cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency that has gone through the most amount of challenges, yet we are within all those attacks and all those storms. We are moving to be number one. All over the world, this currency is being used. We have an ecosystem that has various aspects of a general economy. We have the One Life Network. We have the Deal Shaker franchise. We have the Merchant Platform. We have the Education or One Academy. We have the Forex. We have the One World Foundation, where we give back to society. And to come soon, or at the appropriate time, the time when it is ready and right, we'll have the remittance aspect and our exchange. Nothing can beat one coin. Nothing can touch one coin. Imagine a world without inflation. A world where you don't have all these set of loans with great interest. A world without anonymity. That is where the, the coin is anonymous. I have a little difficulty in pronouncing that word. But you can track our coin because of KYC, know your customer. You can track our coin. You must load up a photo ID and proof of address. And no illegal activities can be done using our system because of the KYC. And we have anti-money laundering and anti-financing of terrorism all within the regulatory frameworks of our one coin. So our coin was designed for usability, not speculation. We don't have a volatile coin rate up and down. Which merchant want to do business with a coin like that? We want to increase trade worldwide to facilitate the ease of doing business. Entrepreneurs rising up as a revolution all over the world, fostering business activity, helping every sector within our community, within our nation, and within the world. A payment method which authorities can count on, yes. And what can you do with your coins? Oh, you can use your coins and shop till you drop. You can use your coins on our interactive e-commerce hub called the Deal Shaker. Yes. Trinidad Hilton was today the host to a Deal Shaker Expo, where shoppers had the opportunity to peruse a vast number of boots and pay for their items totally, or in part, with cryptocurrency. The event put together by the One Life Network was an effort to promote the use of cryptocurrency, which they believe represents the future of trading. Janine Brown reports. The 
One Life Cryptocurrency Expo featured some 75 vendors offering products ranging from jewelry, delicacies, foreign use of vehicles, and what many claim as the national dish, doubles. Cryptocurrency has been gaining popularity the world over, despite the fact that many governments have not yet established regulations for its use. Independent marketing associate with One Life, Kimral Ali, believes it's the price of innovation, taking a risk. He explains One Life has implemented a certain policies to reduce the chance for people to use the coin system for illegal activities such as money laundering. Each individual has to be KYC approved. KYC means know your customer, so every individual must upload a photo ID of themselves as well as proof of address, which is verified by the company, before you're able to transact business. He's confident the benefits outweigh the concerns. He says that the system has the potential to solve trading problems which exist today. When last did you go to the bank to get foreign exchange? You know the issues surrounding that. But with cryptocurrency, you literally can transact business throughout the world and you don't need to find the currency of that nation. And that's one of the major benefits. Vendors were equally optimistic about a future in cryptocurrency. This is the future and being that it's into the future, I want to be able to be a person on top of my game. A lot of things are unregulated, but it's like, if it really compared to, it's like a credit card. At one time, we didn't know anything about credit card, and people were accepting it. Earlier this year, the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago said it was in the process of finalizing a policy on cryptocurrency with the hope for publication later this year. Janine Brown, C News. It's changing the playing field. It is making access to business, you know, become much easier. And you can do a lot of stuff on the deal shaker. We also have our One World Foundation where we give back to society, where we encourage also children to get free education about money. So the One Life Network, we are really doing a lot in the world. And people are talking about cryptocurrencies all over. It's now the buzz in the town. Everybody now knows about cryptocurrency because especially of the One Life Network and the education that we are bringing to the people, to the masses. And blockchain technology, the underlying technology for cryptocurrency, is not only creating digital currencies, organic digital currencies, but it is affecting many industries. As you can see, the banking, finance, real estate, music, auditing, education, medicine, you know, cloud storage, and so on. Our target is to hit 10 million users. We want you to help us. We want you to join us. Get back to the person who invited you and let them show you how. We want 10 million users, 1 million, at least 1 million merchants. If each of us as independent marketing associates bring on a merchant or two on the platform, we're getting nearer and nearer and closer to our goal in two years. So, people, this We are not a, um, what is called, uh, if I use the term, is in context to education. We are about selling education. That's what we are about, selling education. So before, before I end this call, I just want to show you one short video, if you will allow me, to end this call. And it's a video about finance. I want you to take it in carefully. So take this video in carefully. COVID-19 is not going to disappear. It's gonna be around for at least two years. And a lot of people are scared for their health. But just as importantly, a lot of people are scared for their wallets and their money, including me. So what is going to happen? Here is my best guess. Money. There will be a lot less of it. So save it. 
Don't spend money on anything you don't need. Don't buy Starbucks coffee. Don't buy a car. Don't buy the stock market. It's going to crash. Don't even buy that H&M t-shirt or that extra suit you don't need because weddings won't be back for a while. Jobs. Many jobs are simply not coming back. Waiters, tour guides, hospitality industry. It's going to take at least two years to get the same number of jobs back. So in this free time, you must spend it on education. Get a skill that can make money fast. As a business myself, I'm still looking to hire people, but people with internet skills, people who know how to edit videos, people who know so much more important in the future. Freelance. With 20% unemployment in the US, it's going to be a long way to get back to 5%. So this is the time to create your own job. Go online and teach the piano. Go online and offer your design services. Traditional city jobs are pretty much dead. Medicine. If you are not sure about studying medicine, then this is the time to do it. COVID-19 taught us the world needs you, the doctor and the nurse. The world doesn't need me. It doesn't need Gucci. It doesn't need all these travel influencers. We are not essential. You are. Patience. Once physical lockdown ends, a new one begins. And this one is gonna suck because it's going to be for two years. For two years, no more large gatherings like these, no more group tours, no more busy offices, no more full airplanes, and no more money flying around. This is the time to think different. Everything I mentioned above is possible if you are lucky, but if you are in the bottom 10% of society, it's impossible. Not everyone can afford to upskill or to even have a computer. That's why income inequality is about to go up. The rich will stay rich, the poor will get poorer, and the gap will go even wider. For the first time in decades, millions of people will enter poverty, not escape it. So if there is one thing we need to do for life after COVID-19 is to have more compassion. Look after yourself first and then look after your neighbor. Odds are they're having a harder time. This is not the time to spend money, but it's definitely the time to give it. And maybe that's how we're going to beat this pandemic together. Stay home, stay safe. See you next Thank you, week. everyone. Thank you very much for listening to this call. Stay strong, stay safe. One's out. Thank you, Minister Brother Noel. Thank you for sharing with us how we need to get educated and get above the rest. I would like to, however, call on Mr. Clifton Chinlipsy, our Suriname brother. Mr. Clifton, are you with us this evening? Mr. Clifton. Okay. Can you hear I'm, me? Yes, we're hearing you, Mr. Clifton. Welcome. It's raining a bit, so let me get to another area where... We're hearing you. Okay. Yeah, we're hearing you. So can you just share a bit with us about your experience with the One Life family? I hope. I think you can see me properly now. Let me keep it up like this. Yes. Yes, we're so seeing while, you and we're hearing you. <laughs> so while the the call was on, 
uh, brother Emmanuel just inspired me that much where I was busy uploading my WhatsApp status based on the information he shared. So to everyone on this call, I would say uh, we were a bit lucky to meet someone in 2016 who was willing to share this great opportunity with us. Uh, my, my business or the business I was in for about 20 years was financial planning. We were doing financial planning through life insurance. And this story I like to share always because the first client I sat down with, we made a retirement planning where that person would get a lump sum of 500,000 SRG, standing for Surinamese Gilders. Unfortunately, uh, I think about six months before he reached age 60, our government introduced another currency called the SRG, Surinamese Dollars. So what they did, they took away three zeros. So why my client planned to get a retirement income of 500,000, so meaning half a million SRG, when the new currency was introduced, he only had six months. But by that time, he already knew he would only get 500 SRD. So since I joined this company back in 2016, I became aware of the difference between money and currency. Most of us do our retirement planning in currency and not being aware what inflation can do to us. 2016, I started doing my own retirement planning. Guess what? I use one of my accounts and that is especially for my retirement. It was a special offer we got and we were able to combine, I think, three packages to make a short start. I took about 1,800 euros. Uh, now I am four years further. And in that account, I have about 4,555 one coins. So that means the purchasing power of my 1800 euros, it went up because now the purchasing power of the 1800, because I exchanged it through the educational package into one coins. And right now I think it is about 190,000 euros. If you are not aware of those things, get back to the person who invited you to this call and let them share with you. That is what I am sharing right now with everyone I know. Only for people not being able to point a finger at me and saying, Mr. Clifton, you were aware of something, but you never shared it with me. Whether they join or whether they won't, make sure you share this story so that no one can point their fingers at you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Jim, let's see. So that was our Suriname brother, all right, and our One Life family. 
So it is time for me to bid you adieu. Come again and join us here tomorrow, same time, for more financial learning to change your circumstances now. Remember I said, not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. Good evening, good morning, and good night.